abstain from all immorality today i'm going to lead you to the various types of immorality may the lord cleanse his church in jesus name may the lord cleanse you too as a member of his church universal in jesus name let's go to the book of galatians Galatians chapter 5 I read from verse 19 to verse 21 Now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these adultery fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Here, two of uh, two things are mentioned along with others. Adultery, fornication, adultery, fornication we are considering this as immorality in the book of first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 22 the bible says abstain from all appearance of evil this covers all other aspects of immorality all appearance of evil yes all appearance of evil abstain from it flee fornication is another instruction of the holy scriptures run away from fornication that is the instruction god is given his children Immorality refers to all kinds of sexual act committed or desired to be committed by the sinful man or woman. All kinds of sexual act committed or desired to be committed by a man or woman who is a sinner and this include the following number one fornication fornication yes 
back to Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 it says now the works of the flesh are, are manifest which are these adultery fornication some bible in some bible sense the word fornication is used in general covering all sexual sins the same goes with adultery in some bible sense depending on the context the word adultery can be used to cover in general sexual sins but just as you see them separated here adultery is mentioned separately fornication is mentioned separately majorly fornication refers to sin sexual sin committed or desired to be committed by a person committed or desired to be committed by a person be he, be he male or female so these are things that you are to abstain abstain stay away flee from it and anything that appears to give you this feeling work hard to stop it as a child as an adult as a married person as an unmarried person as a divorcee as a widow whatever position you find yourself because this temptation applies to all whether you are a clergy or a lady whatever rank you attain in christianity you are the head of the church you are a member of the church you are a leader whatever position the temptation to fornication does not exempt any member does not exclude any person not even the person talking to you now it's only that we master it to have victory over it in all forms which you are expected to do likewise exercise all strength to ensure fornication does not temper with you particularly now I'm talking to the unmarried. Be very careful that in your unmarried and single life, you do not pollute your mind, pollute your eyes, pollute your body, pollute members of your body in any kind of fornication. 
abstain from all evil appearance of evil live your life such that your thoughts your desires your relationships your seeing your sight and your ears are never connected to immorality live that way you are mature to marry but have not married never release yourself to burn in the body because of sexual life do your best jesus at 33 and a half was all man as we were aware but never such a thing i have never given myself that never since my coming to christ i have worked on myself not even when at a time i was a widower it never touched my life my heart never went there i took control of my mind i took control of my feeling i took control of my thoughts not even as married now am i also in any way wishing another woman it doesn't happen so this is what god wants of you be a prophet even as your father which is in heaven is perfect yes there are people who come up to say the sickness you are passing through now is because you have not slept with a man your menstrual pain is because you have not slept with a man the fibroid of your body is because you have not slept with a man those are messengers of satan if such will happen it means the creator god made a mistake such that his unmarried individual cannot go to heaven the, pure, the holy and pure cannot go to heaven then there's a creative problem there's a creative problem and if that is not allowed in the field of sciences even in human era i mean among men how can god do that have you not heard that that man, that, that the manufacturer of some products cease manufacturing them because of some unwanted side effect have you not heard that they stop manufacturing them because there is a natural problem noticed in human uh, among men concerning that product and they are commanded in fact some are commanded to retrieve such things from the society and destroy them can god therefore manufacture you create you create man and say and, and it came to be discovered that the man at any point of his life cannot maintain victory over immorality either because he's unmarried he has come to the age of marriage and has not gotten a wife or for whatever reason then there is creative error but if god is that perfect who observed his creation and says very good don't say when you go into immorality god is responsible for god cannot tempt any man neither is he tempted by any man so abstain from fornication the second thing is adultery as we see in galatians chapter 5 now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these 
adultery. Adultery is the sin committed by the married person. You are married. You can be so fortunate in your marriage that you have a cooperating marriage partner, a wife or a husband that is satisfying you well in sexual matters. You could be fortunate. You could also be unfortunate that in your marriage, your circumstance does not favor your free interaction with your wife or free interaction with your husband sexually, such that you receive too little quantity or none at all, either due to sickness in one of, in your partner, due to marital crisis, due to separation, either of distance or of separation in marriage, due to divorce, whatever you have married, you cannot open your body to any other man you have married before. Even if your marriage lasted for one week, and crisis came up of it, out of it, you can no more associate with any woman in marriage or in sex. You cannot harbor it in thought and feeling. You cannot express it in any other way, but live spotless and blameless as Anna in the Bible. She had an unfortunate circumstance. She got married to a man. But the man died after seven years. She lived that time until she was, 40, I mean, she was 84 years. 84 years minus the, marriage, the, the age she reached before she married let's say she married at uh, 20 then minus this number of years she married and enjoyed the sexual life seven years seven plus 20 27 years 27 years minus from 84 at that time was 57 is that 57 for 57 years Anna never met with any man a righteous woman 57 years one thing you should know about nature if you abstain from something for a period of time your your body nature set, I mean, settles with it your body nature adapts to it that is one thing even when i i noticed as as uh, one who was a widow for a time after a time the whole thing goes no design nothing you are free you are there is adaptability there are women here who, that will tell you the same thing there are men here that will tell you the same thing so that is god he knows that is why he provided in nature adaptability. The whole thing is your mind, your decision to stay unmarried, and the Lord will give you grace. For my grace is sufficient for you. This is possible, even unbelievers. 
can stay like that some unbelievers how much more of believers who have the power of salvation in christ who have god that answers their prayers constantly how much more so you have no excuse no not one abstain from all immorality the next thing is lost in matthew chapter 20 chapter 5 matthew chapter 5 verse 27 and 28 the bible tells us here saying ye have heard that it was said by them of all time thou shalt not commit adultery but i say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her had committed adultery with her already in his heart now look it on a woman and kindling lusts not just you look on a woman no you can look on any woman i'm looking at women now but allowing the heart the thought to stay to the point of kindling desire he has committed immorality with that woman already in his heart he has that desire i wish is settled is counted down abraham take your son your only son and go to sacrifice him for me when abraham laid isaac down and took the knife and stretched his neck ah it's done don't do it again it's done so you have come to that point it's already done because you looked at a woman not just looking at a woman you stayed the high until a desire is kindled maybe you fix your eyes on her buttocks maybe you fixed your eyes on her breasts maybe you fixed your eyes on her hair hair do on her face or on any part that normally arouses you until that arousal came up in you you're, you're done you're done you have done it already therefore asima never fix your eyes steadfastly on a woman to the point thoughts and desires and bodily feelings will rise up in your body don't job said i have made a covenant with my eyes what portion do i have on, on a maid on a woman not even a maid walking in my house what portion do i have that i should be fixing my eyes on her similarly woman you could likewise fix your eyes on a man maybe the man is urinating somewhere or is these people these people who don't know how to dress that their man who shows and you fix your eyes there until thoughts take over your mind you're gone you are gone you are not in christ again you have been polluted it's as delicate as that and so you man fixing your eyes on a woman maybe her nakedness you're gone but fornication and all uncleanness covetousness let it not be once named among the sins let him not be once named among you as becoming saints. So, this is what the scripture is telling the children of God. 
to keep them again immoral fantasy immoral fantasy you lived in sin in sin of immorality you lived maybe you were you moved you practiced much immorality you used to watch pornography just as you see the animal that you were that you were the court you may lie down on your bed and a thought of the past past acts you did came on you or the thought of somebody who spoke careless words describing how he performed with a woman describing how he performed with a man that's why the bible says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth that thing you are saying to that person that is corrupt will come back to arrest his mind after 15 years after 15 years that expose, exposure of your body part very carelessly woman that that young boy of 10 so he it will remain in him until he is 70 years and at the time it may want to come back sit down and chew the court sit down and be imagining it and it, the imagination is with pleasure it is giving a sensation of pleasure it has arisen the thoughts it has kindled the thoughts the body has grown warm and tensed is giving pleasure that is evil that is immorality young man that's immorality man that is immorality a man asks me can i commit um can i commit what okay no that he masturbated with his wife in the hospital he was in the house the wife was in the hospital he set his heart towards meeting with his wife and allowed that thought to be running to be running until his body became tense and he released that's immorality that is immorality your heart must be kept clean and not polluted don't kindle evil imagination on the thoughts of your heart terrible for all these people who say they're committing sex is my wife is in america we are doing it on phone you are polluting yourself there's no scriptural provision of that you are polluting yourself so that fantasy thoughts that arose in you with pleasure on immorality on sex on a woman in the past on a woman in the present or, the, or a woman wished a man in the past a man in the present or a man wished you begin to imagine how you are already doing it is sin is pollution is immorality the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 9. It says, The thought of foolishness is sin. the thought of foolishness is sin that you lie down and are imagining in your thought over this thing why don't you fix jesus there is your wife greater than jesus 
Why don't you fix God there in that imagination? Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, in all faculty of imagination, of thought, mind. Fix God there. Again, masturbation. This actually has been a battle with many young men. Because in our days, pornography is available. You can go and see men doing sex. You can do this and do that. And so it steers you. Or you get, you have learned it. But as a man, a, bo- a young man, a young woman. You have learned it. And so you begin to walk on yourself. You begin to touch yourself. You begin to use some property, some ointment, some this, some this. Ha- setting your mind. You're walking on your mind. As you're walking on your mind, God is not there. You're removing your mind to evil. You are removing your mind from God to evil. God is not there. And you say, when it is done, you feel guilty. Some don't feel guilty because false preachers have told them that that's not sin. Demons send those preachers. But there's a guilt. Oh, I have done it. Instead of going to report yourself that I am, my name has been removed from the book of life. He said, I am the leader. I'm pastor. I am the pastor now. I am a precious sister singing in the choir. I'm an usher. How will they be looking? How, who knows it? God will help me, help me, and one day I will have victory. It takes the law. If a man wants deliverance and does not follow the law that requires deliverance, he will not get it. Because you have a God of intelligence in heaven. He has given his way. He that hideth his sins shall not prosper. You will labor. There was a preacher who fell like that into a woman and never told it and was struggling. Preacher the new righteousness was struggling, still in ministry. He continued until the women reached 17. No help from God. Nobody praying for you. Oh, brethren, pray for me. Nobody praying for you in absentia without knowing what you have done. Without you going to confess to the authority. No prayer. Not even the prayer of the pastor. Is pastor the one answering prayers? Is there another machine that answers prayers? Or an intelligent being? The one that gave you the mind. That sits in the heavens. You must submit to him. Otherwise, you will go to hell. The way of all the earth. Are you greater than other ones? That have gone to hell? Are you better than them? Must God humble because of you? Is God your servant? What can you please God? Except he gives you grace to please him. Go and confess. And cry. Bitterly. Seek prayer. With all intensity. Make your will clean. Clear to your leaders. It's then the law will show mercy. You have fulfilled the law. If any man strive for the mastery, yet is he not crowned unless he striveth lawfully. So that is it. Otherwise, you're carrying for um, uh, masturbation. And yet, you dress well. You speak in tongues. You do everything. You lead. You preach great. Give that pulpit to Satan whether you will preach as you can preach. But that is the righteousness. Righteousness in the, is, is not in the works you are doing in service. It is a lifestyle of 
not committing sin. For whoever is born of God does not commit sin. So go and expose yourself and let's have a pure church. And the doctors, spiritual doctors, holiness doctors that are available to clean you are not there to shame you. It's job you have given to them to start laboring and fasting with you. So, masturbation. Again, homosexuality. Lying with man. Having sex through the anus of a man. It is actually a terrible kind of immorality that shows how ripe the world is for judgment. Sodom and Gomorrah were condemned for this. And for you to go and open your anus to any man, normally it is attached to occultism, it's attached to power. And now you are here sitting tensed up with demonic power. Tensed up. You, a man without sense, going to enter into the unknowns of a man. Terrible. So dumb. Bond with those lots. And the Lord overthrew them. It's only now, we don't know how he's taking your case, whether. He, is the hellfire or something will happen before then? We don't know. But it's a terrible thing. And some women, their homosexual husbands, will be requesting that they will use them through the anus. And so the man wants it now, and you will be doomed together with that man. I'm telling you. You are like beasts, animals that have no senses. The sexual life of, a, of, of man is above that of animals. In the book of Romans, Romans, because it goes also together with lesbianism. While homosexuality is man to man lesbianism is woman to woman <laughs> and it ends up in gay marriage we were in the airport in america and a man and his wife sat a little away from us and my wife said I should look at the couple sitting by beside us. I look at them. It's a man, innocent man that was sitting with his wife. My wife said, no, both of them are women. Eh? Both of them are women. Don't you see the other one? He's the one that married this, married the other lady. When I turn my eyes and look at her, I saw her sitting in a pitiful way. I say, hey, hey, these people. See how Satan has wasted this woman. You are carrying the burden of this woman alone and say, your husband. Hey. Then I started looking at it. It is really a woman. No? The person is a woman. No? Hey. I say, Satan has given trouble to man. He's not prepared for you to bear the burden maritally of a woman. You are not one flesh within a woman. One flesh is between man and woman in marriage. Not between woman and woman. It's like somebody who is, who is wearing the left shoe in the, right, in the right foot and the right shoe in the left foot. See, how is he coming up? It doesn't match wickedness so lesbianism they begin to touch themselves begin to touch themselves begin to caress themselves and say oh it gives us pleasure satanic pleasure 
satanic pleasure. Then they go to adopt a child and say, this is our child in marriage. Thank God for Trump. Everybody say it. Because the, diction the Americans wanted to give a new dictionary meaning for mother. Mother, according to them, is no more a female person, but any person that is able to bring up a child in a family way is a mother. That in that case, the, the gay man is a mother now because they have adopted a child for him to be caring. He will be caring for a child. Now, oh, that is your mother. That is your mother. The world is already getting to an end. Just prepare. We will be going soon. So, in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 1, the Bible tells us of these people. Verse 24. We have for God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Man and man. Women and women. Verse 26. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise the men. Leaving the natural use of women. Born in their lust one toward another. Mean with mean, walking that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. Even as and even as they do not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. God gave them up. If you are into these things, God gave, has given you up. Your thoughts are thinking differently from natural thought of the living. And you be careful of your friends that have gone into the world to evangelize innocent women and bring them to lesbianism, to lesbians, to evangelize innocent young boys. To bring them to homosexuals. Watch against that man getting close to you. And be careful with money. You don't need that money. Wages of unrighteousness. Yes. Pornography. Watching the nakedness of a woman. The nakedness of a man. And some of these are mature men. Some are married men. Some give good reasons to themselves that uh, we want to go and I want to go and sleep with my wife. My myself and my husband are preparing to go to, to go on bed. To go and uh, enjoy ourselves. So let us watch to arouse ourselves. Let us watch these things. So that we can get properly charged. Huh. The Bible tells us. In the book of Psalm. 101. Psalm. one. O one in verse three. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. Wicked thing you set before your eyes and be calling evil good is preparing us. We want to go and romance ourselves, myself and my wife. Leave that. That is for evil partners. A man and a harlot. Prostitutes. How can you, a legitimate marriage, marriage partners, be watching pornography because you say you want to steer yourselves up? 
and you set a wicked thing before you the works of them that turn aside from god are those people what you are watching them pastors that god said go and go you and your wife do it clearly so that you can inspire member of your church are they pastors the works of them that turn aside you are turning to them cursed people because satan has marred you he has you god gave you out to reprobate minds to do those things that are not convenient oh but you learned it even before you came to know jesus go for deliverance come for counseling and get that demon out of your life out of your marriage that's the word of god unto you yes pleasure closeness of friendship pleasure closeness of friendship genesis chapter 39 genesis chapter 39 verse 7 and it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon joseph and she said lie with me now there is alternative to actual sexual intercourse between a man and a woman there is an alternative what is the alternative verse 10 and it came to pass as she spake to Joseph day by day that he hearkened not unto him to lie by her or to be with her these are alternatives you may not enter in into yourself but just bring your body close let your body be touching that is is give satisfaction Oh, just be with her. Let her be talking. I'll be looking and laughing. I'll be like, hey, 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 you know, your eyes are good. Hey. You love to come into conversation closely with that man. It's because of sexual pleasure in your body. You love to come where that woman is. You want to be around and be talking. If it's possible, you touch just to be around. Immorality. That's also immorality. And it's recorded against you. That the closeness you have developed with another man's wife is immorality. The closeness you have developed with another man's husband is immorality. War can bring you together. Other matters can bring you together that has nothing to do with immorality. But some other people's own is immorality. It gives them bodily satisfaction. Yes. Incest. Sexual relationship of close family relations. A man and her sister. A young boy and her sister. A young man and his sister, a young girl and her brother. You knew yourself when you were growing up. Maybe uncle's son. Maybe a relation. Even an uncle. Many women hate men because they went innocently to visit an uncle. Same father would have her father. To go and discover that the uncle says uh, you want to go i uh, know i have to know you before i give you money to go terrible like that or oh, a man and a woman and her daughter like a man who told me she's the one that was always disturbing me i said god gave them reprobate mind your daughter was always disturbing you, you didn't use cane your daughter is sitting in there and said, Father, come and lie with me. Terrible. And she so spoke those words. You didn't carry her to police station. 
or it is father that has just been messing up her child his girl this is what is happening defiling the whole house how can that house be blessed not even to talk of a man and a maid there is something that is a mystery i don't know whether we have up to 10 percent of married men in the world that another a, a maid can stay in the house and that maid will not be touched i don't know whether out of 100 marriages you can get up to 10 one 10 men that the men will not defile whether sister has his wife sister uh, any maid brought into the house and how the devil does it gives mystery the best thing is abstain from all appearance of evil and you wives be very careful pray well before hey let a maid, a maid come to in fact i'm to, i'm tired this your house is too big i don't know in fact i'm tired be very careful otherwise you will end your marriage ending marriage and tired is you choose one she prayed very well and some of these maids are they free from the devil pray and check up well because it has not ended well with many men it's like an incest and nobody will know nobody knows so it's immorality you and your brother have done it you and your sister have done it you and you, even mothers can carry their sons mature sons to do it with them fathers carry their girls this is iniquity iniquity of the hidden should this thing come to the church the devil want to bring it but brother let us stand up in prayer sister stand up in prayer let's put this thing away from the holy church yes child abuse very common also in schools primary schools even within the family the small the young girls suffer a lot these people may god protect women and satan attach price to molesting children four years five years six years he attached power to the occultic people he attached riches there for or, or wizards that if you can have sex with a child of five six release on her Come and get money. And so they are running. Running. They don't mind the child to die. Child abuse. Child abuse. Some women can go and get a young boy. She's a woman of 40. She goes to get a boy of 14 visiting her you will not connect anything between them but she has trained that boy to be a sexual machine there's nothing the woman the boy can he will be paying him she's paying him child abuse and some of these people who go to who go for women they will tell them one what age do you want if you want nine years, we will bring. If you want 12 years, we will bring. To these rich men that go for immorality. May God protect you from wickedness. May God keep you far away from it. As the heaven is far from the earth, so may our God keep his children far from immorality. yes i'm talking to you of kinds of immorality in secondary school the teachers mess up with this 
young ladies coming up. Uncle, uncle, they are, they are completely unsuspicious of this man. It's, you must be praying for your children in the school. Praying for your children in the school. Not talking about the ones who, that have graduated into university. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 5, verse 29. Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Remember this scripture. Always. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Everybody say it. Say it again. Now, let only women say it. One, two, go. Say it again. Thank you. That's right. Yes. In Romans chapter 1 verse 24. Romans chapter 1. Verse 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. You know, some things gradually, gradually enter into satanic realm. That Satan take notice that they are calling him somewhere. He goes to take over. Others will be licking the anus of one another. He said, God gave them reprobate mind. Your wife went to the toilet and didn't clean well. You are the one to come and finish cleaning with your tongue. Kai! Terrible human beings. Licking anus like dogs and cows. You are licking your husband's anus. Or else, licking the wife's private part. Licking the man's private part. Your senses are not there. You have been abandoned to uncleanness and demons. Bonding yourselves in that which is not convenient. Licking your wife's private part. As dogs will do. Licking your husband's private part. I don't even think whether the female... Okay, the female dogs also do that. Are you, are you human beings or animals? Is that the sex the Bible provided? Is that not burning out of the lust in your heart? The Lord give you grace. Turn firm to your husband. Women must be able to put their marriages on risk with an unbelieving husband. Who is not, who wants to abuse them and turn them from heaven. Cause, her to, cause your man to apply to your new, to, to submit to your new rules. Your new rules are from God. Cause him to submit to it. Don't mind what his stubbornness or his wickedness. It's better he does his wickedness. Than that you go to hell. Make it clear. We have been outside God. I have been outside God. I've come back while you're still there. And I will not submit to you on matters that, it, that are outside God. I will be angry. Be angry. I will kick you out. Kick me out. If God permits you to do that. Because without God's permission, you can't do it. Yes. Naked dressing that exposes sens sexual body parts. Naked dressing. That is what the women are doing in the world now. It's immorality themselves. So women, majority of women, both married and unmarried, are all prostitutes by their dressing. And they are going to hell for prostitution. 
You are married, you have never been to beer parlor, you have never been to hotel, but your name is in the register of prostitution because of your dress. Your skirt has not reached the real level to cover you and exclude you from immoral women. Your dress has exposed your armpit and have put you inside immoral women, prostitutes on their way to hell. Your tight-fitting dress has put you there. Immoral women, prostitutes, going to hell. Prostitution will be one of the charges you will receive because of your naked dressing. And look at the naked people everywhere. Some their husband told them to be prostitutes. Dress naked, I want to see it. Wear trousers. Prostitutes. Promoting immoral, I mean sexual workers. They call them sexual workers. Your children are sexual workers. Right in the house. When people come to your house and see their exposed body, sexual workers, prostitutes are in your house. Prostitutes. They are going to hell by one of the reasons is prostitutes. Oh, my wife, my child is a virgin. Virgin for who? How many people have slept with her? In their heart. In their heart. And the boys too. Well, prostitutes are women. What do we call men? The same prostitutes? <laughs> Let's still put them prostitutes. You dress tight and your private part protrudes for women to see. Don't you know that these women also feel temptation by seeing? Open your chest. Open your body. Wear short knicker. Expose your tie. You're, you're going to hell as a prostitute. Because you are the one that caused these people to be restless. You turn them away from God. Your God will punish you way well. You turn those people from God. You turn people from God. When they see you, they finish with Jesus. Anytime they turn to Jesus is when you're not there. But when they come across you, Jesus, Kai, this one is more than you. Sweeter. I want to see her leg. I want to see her buttocks. And they're disappointing Jesus for you. There's no hope for you. Except repentance. Yes. Improper sitting position. Exposing sexual sensitive parts. How will they sit? Since the dress is not long. You sit and open up. Even in your house. Even in your house, you are busy making your children to commit immorality with you. By exposing a mother sitting with her tie exposed. Some will even be in the bathroom and call the male child to bring soap for her. No sense. The sense is dead. The sense is dead. Immorality is spread everywhere in the world. So check the way you sit in the church. And you women, when you see these women come and open their tie to walk on them, if they're newcomers, carry them to the middle. Put one woman here, put one woman, put another woman in the front, put a, cover her like this with another woman. To, in order not to pollute the church of Christ. Some of them are agents of Satan. And pastors, when you see those ones, don't allow them. If you manage one the way, the other way, the person is still coming, call the person. Your dressing cannot be here. Please, do this thing. Check the people in your chapter meetings, in your unit meeting. It's better than, better that person does not join us than that she joins and turn that meeting into prostitution. And none of you go to heaven. So, don't allow that. Yo, but it's a zealous member. They'll contribute money and buy cloth for her. Anytime you are coming to church, wear this one. If you say you wash it and it is dirty, don't come that day. You hear? Keep them off. They're the ones 
removing the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Immoral looks. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 14. Immoral looks. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children. You see these people? They are cursed children. In their eyes like this, it's, they carry immorality. There is a particular, one of these particular pastors that his life was immorality. The revelation showed that one of his eyes appear as if he's not seeing well. Is the, the eye he took to the medicine man to walk on it. If he turns with that eye to see a woman, the power of that woman will fall. Whatever he said, let's go, let's go. You must be prayerful women. Otherwise, some of this immorality you find yourself in, you cannot explain. You can't explain. Be prayerful with me. That the prince of this world come in but find it nothing in you. And the same thing goes to the mean. Some of these ladies, they have their way of using demonic power. Watch, you see, put, look, putting eyes on you like that. Or putting some spell in your foot. Finish. Something is burning. Go and do it. Go and do it. Go and do it. You must pray. And if you are in that condition, come and for deliverance. Come for counseling and be delivered. Yes. Kinds of immorality. Immoral looks. You go to see a woman. You are looking. Check her breast. Check her buttocks. Hey, check this one. Check this. And you too, watching a man. Watching even to his uh, private part. Watching to this. Immoral looks. Immoral kiss. Immoral speech. Watching pornography. You little children. You are, the devil has turned children to prostitutes. True handset. They, if, if you want what you want to watch, you are free, enter into the need, and that's what they're busy doing in school, polluting themselves, enrolling themselves to hell of various degrees. And the parents are not aware. They will tell you their parents are not aware. They look very simple, very obedient. Jemima, that mommy, come. Okay, here am I, ma. She is coming from watching pornography, but you will not know. You just say, fine, my child is well behaved. Yes, immoral walk. Walking and shaking your body, shaking your buttocks, putting various kinds of dressing, doing many things to show that immorality is in your heart. Immoral walk. Watching actual acts of sexual intercourse. Hmm. The devil has gone far. One of our coordinators said he went far. He will employ, he will get, he will get young boys and young girls, many, and give them money. And say, lie down here and be performing. Let me sit down and watch. That's what he was. I mean, holiness revival movement is telling that he's passing. Just be wa doing it. Let me be watching. The devil. Thank God he is saved. Thank God he is delivered. May the Lord serve you. And those things you are doing, you don't know that they are watching you. They are watching you somewhere. Maybe in another nation. You are well connected. That, that thing you are doing, they are watching it. Hi. May God deliver you. Yes. Immoral communications. The language you are even speaking are languages of immorality. Immoral phone calls. Immoral text messages. Immoral WhatsApp. Immoral gifts. 
you are given to entice immoral favor hey the man showed me favor is coming for thank you check it out all these gifts coming from men coming from women check them pray well and make sure it's god giving natural favor check round check round and smell nothing no ap ap appearance of immorality attached to the favor you are receiving that it is from god immoral jesting immoral stories yes immoral stories divorce and remarriage you leave your wife and you go to marry another that's immorality that is immorality what you're doing with that other woman is immorality second wife third wife fourth wife is immorality if proverbs chapter 5 verse 15 to 20 the bible tells us of this matter of getting another woman apart from your wife it says in verse 15 drink waters out of thine own system and running waters out of thine own well your wife let thy fountains be dispersed let thy fountains be dispersed abroad, abroad and rivers of waters in the streets let them be only thine own and not strangers with thee let the property of your wife the body property that satisfy sexually be only your own let no another man in, come into it woman take note don't give it to another man it goes on to say let thy I mean, he said let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth that woman you married rejoice with her not another woman oh but this other woman is freer is for mo for money is because she is a daughter of satan to waste your life yes let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roy let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. God gave her to you. you that your wife. Her wife, God gave you to, her, to your husband to make him happy. Satisfied with you. And the Lord says, And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? Any other woman you get apart from your wife is a strange woman. Whatever she's giving you, rolling around you, you're dealing with a stranger. A serpent, daughter of Satan. Whether you bring her home or you give her a house as a concubine or you just kick her one day and pass, you're dealing with strangers. Yes. Immorality caused by false teaching on marriage be not many masters many people have come to sanction masturbation many people have written and said anything you do with your wife is not a problem whether you lick anything lick her nose have you seen a man licking, licking the nose of a woman but it's anything you want to do just to just make you dirty in the sight of God there are preachers like that and they are the cause of immorality false counselors i've been at that counseled i'm known how to mess herself up in incest they have false counselors that will give you wrong counsel instead of separating preparing your marriage they tell you no there's no problem just to keep you perpetually in adultery perpetually in immorality i've told you immoral videos that these young boys are carrying up and down you see another release another one has been released blue film they give it name and you are lost in a world of darkness 
darkness has taken over you you are in a society of darkness you will soon be going to dark hell boys lost into master into masturbation and pornography hey, and they have released another one hey, have you watched this one young boy stay away and check them check this boy these boys i have told you even the one you use here do give yourself to prayer this music you are playing this you sitting by this pulpit if you are masturbating if you are watching pornography you are darkening this place may the lord seize you up and throw you let us see you in the sky as you as the wife will carry you because you want to dirty this place and hinder people from going to heaven so check out all those youths that are singing that are playing that they should be clean make sure they are praying make sure you have arranged prayer for them that we don't give room to satan here to dampen all this effort we're making take care in your house that your house should be should be well should be how jesus can be there check up your children well don't respect them respect jesus in their lives yes immoral books reading stories that will be staring you in immorality going to immoral places friendship with immoral persons listening to immoral musics you can understand that these are things that pollute the church these are things that pollute the family these are the things that are carrying people in mass to hell this displeased god as job said say it make a covenant with yourself you will put off anything immoral dressing friendship anything if it means you won't have to buy this phone with internet don't buy them again because if they are the ones you cannot control yourself don't use them again lose it rather than losing your soul let's rise up upon our feet and thank the lord tell yourself oh lord save me from immorality they they feel everywhere the the billboards the televisions even physical ones that are naked on your street naked in your house your daughter is lying down her pad is now out because her skirt is not long you are seeing her lying naked the boys in the house seeing her polluted prostitute pray and say lord deliver my family from immorality for where my where should my family be immoral center deliver the church from immoral spirits abstain open your voice there and be praying as you are looking at and be crying against immorality cry against the passion that is in your heart deliver yourself deliver yourself deliver yourself satan does not respect anybody protect your children pray for them counsel them be firm immoral conversation run away from that friend his mouth is always on immorality his weight his stories are always on immorality run away from him stop being his friend let him not come to you again it's of the devil report him if he's in the church keep yourself holy keep yourself clean report yourself 
if you are overcome by immorality. May God save you. May God save you. May God save you. Cry to him. Help me, Lord. Help my children. Help my children. Help my family. Take away the immoral spirit out of my family. Jesus name we pray raise up your hands and repeat Lord Jesus I bring myself to you remove sin from my heart remove immorality from my heart wash me Lord Jesus with your blood Make me clean for yourself. Put your spirit in my life. Take away evil thoughts from my heart. Take away thoughts of immorality from my heart. Fill me with your good thoughts. I want to serve you, Jesus. Take it seriously with me today. I reject my past. I reject sinful partners. I reject pornography. I reject all sexual partners. I break the yoke with the devil. I break friendship with Satan. I am for Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have saved me and I am saved. In Jesus' name I pray. May the Lord answer you. May the Lord do it in your life. Now I lose you. That thought, get out from her. Get out from him. I rebuke you, spirit of immorality. You spiritual husband, you spiritual wife, I break you into pieces. Let the fire of the Lord terminate you. 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 I destroy you. I break you. I destroy you. I break you. I destroy you. I break you. Get out. 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 In Jesus' name. Receive the grace to serve Jesus. Amen. Receive the grace to be clean. Amen. Receive the grace to be righteous. Amen. The power of the Lord rests upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, 
contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in
Jesus, I believe in you. I 